Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to prove a theorem. The theorem is, in a given vector space V, the additive inverse of a vector is unique. So let's remind ourselves what an additive inverse is. If V is a vector in a vector space, um, its additive, additive inverse is W. If V plus W is the additive identity, and W plus V is the additive identity. And remember, that zero with a hat on it, or that arrow on top, that does not mean uh, the number zero, or an ordered pair, or ordered triple, or even an ordered n tuple of zeros. We're not talking about R2, R3, or Rn necessarily. We're talking about an abstract vector space. These vectors could be polynomials, they could be matrices, they could be continuous functions. So um, we cannot use uh, n-tuples or any specific vectors. All right, so the proof that we're going to do is called proof by contradiction. So in a proof by contradiction, you assume the opposite of what you're trying to prove and then you arrive at some kind of contradiction or some impossibility and you conclude that your assumption was false. So here we're going to let V be any vector in the vector space V and we're going to assume that V has two different additive inverses and let's call them W1 and W2. We want to prove that V only has one additive inverse. So let's assume the opposite of what we're trying to prove. Let's assume it has more than one. So W1 and W2 are both additive inverses of V. So that means we can say that W1 plus V is the additive identity, and V plus W2 is also the additive identity. So now let's write down W1 as W1 plus the additive identity. That's one of our axioms. That's axiom 4. But we can write, rewrite that additive identity as V plus W2 because that's one of our assumptions. And now we can rewrite this sum as W1 plus V plus W2. And that's the associativity property of vector addition or axiom 2. Well, by assumption, W1 plus V is just the additive identity element, or the zero vector. So we have W1 is really just the zero vector plus W2. But this is just W2, again, by axiom 4. So what we've just shown is that W1 is equal to W2, but our assumption was that they were different. So this is our contradiction. And therefore, we can conclude that the assumption was false, the assumption that V had two different additive inverses. So now we can conclude that V has only one additive inverse. Now, why does that prove it's it's true for every vector in our vector space v. Well, because we chose an arbitrary vector, little v. It wasn't a specific vector, it was an arbitrary vector. So what we just proved was true for any vector in that vector space. All right. So we'll see other proofs by contradiction this semester, and you'll get some practice. And I'll see you in the next video.